By 1948, I came to the conclusion that the workers were not going to change the world. That's number one. But the second consideration, which was very important with me, was that the Marxian class analysis did not seem to cover the whole area of oppressions that I thought had to be eliminated. Specifically, oppressions based on gender, patriarchy, for example, oppressions based on color, oppressions based not on class, but on hierarchies. So I was not only concerned with economic exploitation, I was also concerned with social domination. And Marxism gave me no adequate method or response to this kind of question. But anarchism did. So in a sense, I partly borrowed from and invented my own anarchism.